Hey everybody! Welcome back to Northern Lion Plays Magicite! We're playing as Raw Wolf this time. He's a... I forget the name of the race. What is it? Orclops! So we start with some good stuff. Um, we have the Berserker trait as well. Hunger cap is doubled. Uh, I want to reroll those stats. Aggressive. Minus one defense, plus two attack. Doesn't need a key when opening other locks. Sure, that seems fine. Alright. So we start with a Bone Sword and a Bone Pick. Which is actually a little weird, because it makes it... Oh god, I wish I one-shot enemies. Um, it makes it uh, so I can't actually chop down trees, which strikes me as very dangerous. Additionally, yes, I have very, very little health. Um, yeah, I, I can get, you know, minerals. Like so. Um, but I don't know how the heck I'm going to make an actual axe here. What do we have? Ironite or and stone. I guess I'll have to get to the next level and actually buy um, like a, a pickaxe or something like that. That's actually kind of a cool mechanic that it works like that. Now, I'm guessing since we have taken like a super aggressive character uh, or build here that we should try to be as aggressive as possible. So I'm gonna kill this boar, hopefully we'll level up. We did indeed, that's gonna take us to level 3. I read up a little bit on the wiki as well, so I know uh, some new stuff that we can make. And uh, the uses of it, hopefully. There we go. One-shotting enemies feels a lot better. And honestly, even though our health is lower, I think like this actual, this actually, I should say, will make me a little bit more uh, survivable. We might as well get all the minerals that we possibly can. Um, we do start with a pickaxe. So I didn't realize we can get herbs and stuff uh, using our pickaxe as well, just by hitting stuff on the ground. So that's an important thing to keep in mind as well. We got to take what we can get because we will um, want to be using our coins to uh, buy as much as we possibly can. Is money? Yeah. To buy as much as we possibly can in the next section. Um, in the town. If we live that long. Holy crap. Okay. Am I actually going to fight this thing? Like, it doesn't seem that difficult. Its patterns seem fine. The tricky thing, first off, is it's phasing in and out of existence, which I, quite frankly, just feel is a little bit of a dirty trick. But, um, additionally, doesn't really, uh have to hit us more than once probably if it hits us once it'll probably go oh god seriously what the hell was that we leveled up I feel fantastic about that we actually have more HP now we got a monster pelt and that's about it that was very weird um, I think it maybe chose to do a move that caused it to get killed all right I'm trying to get this like string here if we get a string or if we get a, a few spider webs and make strings we can actually make a net and by using that net, we can uh, catch bugs. And I don't know what bugs do, but it would be better to have them than not to have them, right? Now, just stay back. I definitely don't want to get hit by these guys. Um, we may actually be strong enough to kill bees now. And I'm starting to... This is my first run with this character, obviously. Uh, but I'm digging how uh, you uh, can play in kind of multiple styles here based on your build. That is pretty cool. A 26 damage crit hit is pretty crazy. I was doing like 11 for crits before. Okay, we're going to go uh, high octane ag aggression class here. That was awful damage. Luckily, I crit. Um, we got a, two pelts now. I wonder if we can merge those pelts into something. Refined cloth. Well, now I have cloth. Uh, I can use that in our in our town for something. And there's our town right there. So I'm just gonna, you know, eat some meat. Ooh, don't hit me. And I pooped on the ground. I wonder if I can like break that poop and take it with me. No, it doesn't appear so. I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try to try to take you down. Oh. He's mad. I almost got hit again there. Okay, what did we get from that? Um, we got another monster pelt. And some bones. Can we bo combine bones? Hey, we can. Refined bone. Uh, that was unexpected. Bone plus cloth? No. Pelt plus bone? No. I wanna, This probably allows us to make actually like bone weapons. Alright, let's go in through door number one here. Uh, like so. Now, the most important thing... I wonder if I can kill this chicken. I can indeed. Raw chicken. Maybe you should not eat that. Um, can I can I put chicken in the furnace? Put some uh, like a raw chicken right there. Smelt the crap out of it. No. Okay. That's all right. Um, we need to buy an axe. An axe. There's a bone axe. That seems pretty acceptable. All right. Now that we have a bone axe, we can actually chop down trees and make our own tools. Um, it's a leather worker. We have some coins left. We can sell some stuff. Do we want to? 
I don't think I really want to sell the raw chicken. I don't think I want to sell anything, to be honest with you. Uh, let's quickly... Oh, get that. Don't let you... I know you want it. I'm not going to let him take it, though. Um, we're going to leave. Okay, I'm feeling pretty good. Despite our HP being really bad, uh, I'm feeling pretty pretty good overall. Ah, and this is actually Vine Roar Forest again, which is awesome for me because it means that I am not necessarily going to be at risk of death. Well, at, at greater risk of death because this is, uh, you know, the same difficulty as the levels that preceded it. So, I know that there's a slime over there. It scares me a little bit. Yeah, we did one-shot it. Don't get too cocky here. Um, we're just going to farm up some wood now uh, because we can make some interesting stuff. So, uh, let us make... Well, now we have everything, but we will be able to uh, to make some more stuff uh, once we get some more string is, is really what I'm looking for. We also got some more Ironite, but I don't need to constantly keep abreast of my inventory like that, I think. Like, on that level. I don't think I need to constantly be smelting. We can just keep our ore there. It's not like we're running out of inventory space anytime soon. Let's just get some wood for now. You know, we could use planks. And there appears to be uh, some harvestable wood here. Just be cautious. I almost botched that miserably. One more kill should give us uh, another level up, which hopefully gives me more HP, but I think because I chose to spec into, like, the attack class, that's probably not how that's going to work. All right. Now we have a slime. Uh, no... Ooh, uh, I was going to say no real problematic enemies. Oh, uh, we got extra stats, but no extra damage. Or, sorry, no extra HP. Come on. Let's try this again. There we go. The raw meat. Useful. Now, we don't one-shot bees. So we gotta be a little careful. The bees can hurt. I do want that money. But more than the money, I w Oy! Okay. You know, that was positive we learned something from that, at the very least. We all knocked an extra 50 score. Let's keep it up here. Okay. So we've learned something. We've learned how to play as this character a little bit. That is the first time I've ever seen a treasure chest in the wild. Holy crap, we died in two seconds. That was really good. What was that, like a 15 second life? A score of two. Fantastic. Well, that's the danger with random generation, isn't it? Let's get uh, as much as we can here. Um, now, we know that we can kill this guy. The only issue is do we have enough space to actually jump over him? I'm trying to get him over here. That was very, very risky. But I really just need him to be in a place where I have some verticality, right? And if that happens, I should be able to at least try for the kill here. Now, he's going to hurt himself when he does that, you know, weird-ass meteor move. Not by a lot, but by enough to be dangerous. Come on. He's so close to death. He's got to be. And... Hey, we did it. Okay, so that's going to be extra levels. Like, a lot of extra levels. Uh, no, just one extra level. I'm an idiot. Inside of our ore pile, we get uh, ironite and stone. I definitely want to kill this boar as well. I mean, that's our advantage. Oh, fuck. Yep, I'm dead. I'm starting to think that maybe this character isn't for me, but I really do think that it makes me more survivable. Uh, there we go. We got a Tyrannox. Tyrannox head. Let's try that out. Um, single player hats. What does it do? Consumes one mana. Wait, 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 wait. Tyrannox hides in organs. Wait. This hat is carefully crafted from Tyrannox hides and organs, granting the wearer the ability to summon highly toxic meteors that scale with magic when attacking barehanded. Okay, so we can summon those meteors. Um, I'm going to stick with the exact style we've already been using, because I think that was working out for it. Hey, you know what? Maybe we'll go with uh, this guy instead. We'll go with the standard character, but we'll give him the extra attack. Yeah, sure. This seems like a pretty good role here. Um, and we can farm a little bit. We'll be a little bit less aggressive to start with. But we, we can, you know, harvest our materials. Okay. So maybe this will be uh, more of a, you know, a happy medium. Because we didn't really see too much of the crafting with the Cycloptic character. And that's okay, you know, that's that's cool enough in its own right. But um, I think I need to have a little bit more HP to start with. Otherwise, my life is not going to last very long. Starting with two HP potions is very good. So, first things first. Planks. Plank plus stick equals sword hilts. Two planks equals a blade, which will give us a wooden sword. We also want to make a uh, wooden pickaxe, if possible. 
A few of them if we can. Oh, we need to combine it with more sticks. I'm an idiot. Okay. One second. Just got to chop down a couple more trees. Might as well. And then sticks like this. Um, there's a pick handle. And combine with that. Now we have a wooden pickaxe. And now we'll get some stone and we'll try to upgrade our tools as soon as possible. I think that's what I'm learning, you know, right off the bat is... Uh, or what I'm learning over time is the faster we upgrade our tools to like the next available tier, the better off we are overall. I know I left some experience down there. I might as well go down and get it. I guess it would be very stupid of me not to, considering the name of the game. I think I did overemphasize wood. Like, I don't think we need nearly as much wood as uh, I've been gathering here. So just trying to improve. You know, you know how it is. That was awful damage. I still do find, you know, the platforming and attacking somewhat cumbersome, which I don't think is really a, um, a controversial statement, to be honest with you. Not necessarily the focus of the game. I mean, there's just a lot of combat, but, uh, you know, I mean, people are used to it after, like, Terraria and stuff like that, I guess, so. I can understand that. I just didn't play that much Terraria, I guess, so my, uh, uh, my, my baseline is a little weirder. Got some monster bones, so we might as well combine those. And everything else is fine for now. We should make some more planks, probably. But let's, um... I mean, I hate to do this because we just get stone as a benefit, but whatever. Um, we'll refine our stone. Two refined stone. I, we can't combine these right now. Two refined stone equals uh, a blade that we can use. We'll probably start by making a, uh, uh, a stone pickaxe because that allows us to get more minerals from our uh, mining endeavors, which allows us to improve everything else faster as well. And it all kind of, you know, feeds back into that mineral gathering loop, you know? Oh, okay. If you're going to run away, then I'm going to sneak in there. And I like that there's so many multiple styles uh, for how to play the game. I still haven't really come to, you know, my full conclusion about how I feel about the game so far, which makes sense considering it's still in early access, of course. But um, I I'm liking it. It's just, it's a weird kind of different experience than a lot of other roguelike-ish games. Which is good, you know. Mix it up a little bit. Now, again, I'm terrible at fighting these things, but my hope is that we'll get enough experience to level up. And hopefully we'll get some more HP back. We didn't. But we did gain enough X XP to level up. So we gained more than five. Ooh, that was close. We gained more than five for, um, for killing that. So I, I don't really need to kill this thing. But I kind of want to. I'll explain why, because I want to get at this mineral. Um, so that we can actually make a stone pickaxe. Because now we have... Oh, we had more than enough before, didn't we? Okay, well, I was just playing with fire then. That's okay. So combine that. Stone blade. Combine that with a pick handle. Now we have a stone pickaxe. Which should allow us to actually... Uh, ooh, watch out for those spikes. Should allow us to generate more minerals. Not many, I'd have to guess. Yeah, we're still probably going to get mostly stone. Um, that beehive scares the shit out of me. We're almost at the exit. Don't let this fucking slime kill me, please. Oh, it backed. That was a really good move on its part. Uh, now it's going in. Make up your mind, please. Perfect. Almost leveled up. Why would I try to jump over that? That's just dumb. More minerals from this? Yeah, we did. Okay. I will kill this last slime because I don't know what's good for me. Why don't we go through the door that's different this time? Oh, it's not E, it's W. I always forget. Okay, so we're in Wild Earth Swamp. What could I use as this character? Uh, well, we should definitely get, you know, the chickens. We also get a little bit of experience for it, so... Uh, I didn't mean to crit the unit there, like these dudes. Okay, they just dodge out of the way. Fair enough. Uh... Refine your monster hide. I still haven't really figured out what to do with this. We can try, though. I think this is how you actually make, like, equipment. What is our equipment slots, anyway? Or what are our equipment slots, anyway? Is there anything we can group here? Because I have, like... Oh, you know what? We should totally take a health potion. Okay, one second. I realize that I'm bad at things like inventory management. It's fine. Just give it some time. We're going to go back to nearly full HP. Um, nothing I can do with these lanterns, I guess. Hello, Cycloptic Man. This is the guy who wants to buy things. I don't really want to sell him bone. I need to sell something, though. You know, we'll sell herbs for now. And then by selling herbs, I can, uh, 
craft this. We really just needed one space. Then I can craft these. That'll make a bone blade, which I can then use to make maybe a bone sword. Do we have a sword handle? We don't have a sword handle, so we'll make a sword handle. Uh, plank plus U is a sword hilt. Now we have a bone sword. Okay, we'll sell our wooden sword to 162. Get as many of these as we can. Let's sell our odd numbers just so we have a little bit more inventory space. Um, pick handle. I mean, we can make more pick handles, but we don't really need to. Stone. Ironite ore. Okay, well, we can do this. Make some refined stone. This is probably a total waste. We could also eat, like, four raw chickens here to take us back to maximum HP. Which is probably something, you know, worth... Not maximum HP, maximum hunger, I should say. Or maximum satisfiedness. Every time we eat it, we poop a little bit. And uh, that's probably good. So we have 168. Is there anything we want to buy? Refined, we could buy a refined stone. We could buy a potion. We could buy whatever this is. Which I imagine is kind of like a furnace for portable smelting. That seems like it could be viable. Apart from that, it's just like diamond stuff that I can't nearly afford. What is this? A fire starter. Oh, okay, so I'm an idiot, um, but I imagine that allows me to cook my raw meat. Can we like shift click, uh, or like raw meat, and then just kind of like hit it into the fire? That doesn't really work. I would like my fire starter back, please, but I'm pretty sure I botched it forever. There it goes. Well, at least we learned how not to use it for now. Let's move on. At least we're uh, still fully alive here. And we're in the swamp now, so if we can just beat one more level, this will be the greatest life I've ever had. I don't know what to feel about these, uh, jerks. We can't kill the turrets, unfortunately. I don't want to kill that, you know, cyan cat down there. But we will if we have to. Oh, we leveled up. Okay, I'm gonna go, like, let's take blue this time. I, it won't let me choose yet. Okay, maybe I can't take blue. Maybe I can't take anything. Alright, that's an interesting bug. We'll just have that on the screen for the rest of the game, I suppose. Okay, you frightened me. I didn't realize you could actually jump down. Okay. Just gonna kill me, huh? Real sneaky. I, I, ah, there we go. Okay, I picked the wrong one, but at least we got it off the screen. It's like, are you sure you want that one? I think you actually want this one. Okay. Be cool here. It's the furthest we've ever made it. The dream is alive. How are we supposed to, like, this is why I need a bow as soon as possible. We can't even attack these things out of the air. You know what? I do need to take this potion. All right, having taken that potion, kill the cat. All right, a little extra space. Now, slaughter their child so they lose it. morale. Not morale, those are mushrooms. Also delicious, but kind of irrelevant. I'm not sure why you would bring them up at a... Tense moment like this. We're actually close to leveling up. We gotta kill one more of these things. And I really wish that I had gone... I wonder if blue is... Fuck. <laughs> that was a good run, though. Hey, don't juggle me back here. That's just crass. Plus 50. Alright, let's do one more run quickly. I like this character. I'm happy with this character. We actually start with an arrow here. I figured out how to craft arrows as well, so all I need to do is be able to actually craft a bow, which is not difficult, especially when we start with spider webs. So come on over. Come on over, baby. Bugs, good sources of uh, spider webs here, despite not being spiders. I don't really know how to answer your question that you inevitably have as a result of that. So we should be able to make string here, but I'm also going to make a butterfly net if possible. Um, to catch bugs, because I don't know what that does, really. So, maybe we do that is, um... Oh, you know what? We don't have enough spider webs to do that. We can make a bow, though, so let's make a bow. Wooden sticks get combined with one another. Um, we don't need to combine so many. We'll actually just do it this way. And you want to go up, and up, and up, and up. Okay, now we have a bow. We also have an arrow. You can't, like, shift-click and combine bow and arrow. Maybe you need, like, a stone bow to actually fire stone arrows, but that seems a little silly to me. We can also make a butterfly net, um, but we should make a sword first. So, sword is a uh, plank, like so, plus a stick, plus a blade, which we may not actually be able to produce. Uh, we can, just barely. 
All right. So again, I don't really know what the bow does. Well, I mean, I know what it should do, but you know, pew, 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 pew. Not really firing too well right now. Um, we should get these minerals. Now, if, if there's more bugs, I would like to kill them so I can get the butterfly net. I guess I have another thing on my to-do list now. Look up how bows actually work. Because I really feel like once we get a, a ranged weapon, my life is going to be uh, substantially higher quality. You guys might as well kill this pig. It's free experience, basically. So I would be stupid not to, I think. And we do... Do we get some more wood there? We did, uh, we did get some more wood. So let's quickly make a... Um, pickaxe like so and like so I apologize for still being slow about crafting stuff you'll get used to it I imagine and there's our pickaxe okay we'll use this to mine this the more I play the more I really dig the uh, like survival elements mixed with the uh, roguelike elements it's not something I can see myself playing you know ad infinitum but I, I do enjoy it uh, as kind of a change of pace now we do have a bug here uh, did that bug just shit out a slime? That's pretty cool, actually. If they have the ability to spawn enemies like that. Um, we should get... Oh, that was really close. Yeah, more spider webs equals more string. And we need one more string now. In order to be able to uh, craft a butterfly net or a bug net. And in crafting a bug net, you can probably guess what we can do. Catch bugs. As long as we're going to be able to do our taxes with it or something like that. For that, you got to have uh, eight sheets of paper and a four-year uh, college degree. Which is pretty difficult to craft, also pretty expensive. Now, this beehive scares the shit out of me. Should I try to destroy the beehive? It spawns bees. Seems inadvisable. Uh, but the bees give us bones. Which are also pretty useful. I mean, also, it makes no sense why, but... Sure, I'll, I'll, I'll take them at face value there. All right, good. There's another bug. There's also a boar, which is shitty. But if we can just farm that boar first, get some experience. Now, oh, that was really the worst way possible to handle that. Uh, come on. Then we can kill the bug. Then we can get some delicious spider webs. Turn them into string. Catch some butterflies. And we'll see what those butterflies actually do. Maybe that's the catch. Or maybe that's the trick for actually being able to, um, oh, come on, another boar. Uh, maybe that's the trick for being able to uh, create potions. You need some kind of, like, bug-related influence. And, of course, we get no spider webs for that. Okay, nearly dead. Probably wise to just play it cool. Please allow me to level up when I kill you. You definitely won't. That's just crazy. You got pretty close, though. I appreciate that. All right, don't get killed by the slimes. Easier said than done sometimes. Some slimes, more like. <laughs> Very clever. Oh, there we go. Uh, let's go blue this time. I don't know if that's magic or, or healing. Uh, but I'm content to at least have leveled up to level 5 regardless and get a chance to spec into something. Your stomach begins to grumble. That means we should eat something. Uh, we don't have a ton of meat here. We should eat all of it, though. Do we have enough to make a stone pickaxe? Yes, very, very barely. Um, so let's try this out. Two axe handles. There we go. Two pickaxes allows us to make one stone pickaxe, which we will put in the spot right here. All righty. See if we get any extra minerals. Seems like we did. Okay. So I think that's how that works. And again, I'm, I'm kind of flying blind here, which I like, but. I'm just saying, basically, have mercy if I make some terrible mistakes. Next thing maybe we'll go for is a stone sword. We can make another refined stone block. We don't need to yet, though. I'm sure I can make that jump. Yeah, exactly. At least I'm fairly reliably getting to the end of the first level now. Like, that was a, a dark time in my life. When I was... Oh, what the fuck? What the hell were those purple scrubbers that I've just never seen them before? Well, that's horrifying. Uh, as always, thanks for watching me play Magicide. Thanks for the incredible support in the series so far. I hope you're enjoying the episodes. Uh, we're going to keep coming out with them. So if you enjoy it, click the like button. Helps out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time.